Hi, my name is Randy Nordell, and this is a SimNet student video on completing a lesson. So you'll want to navigate to the lesson in your course LMS, or you can go directly to SimNet. I'm going to click on the lesson, and it's going to take me to the lesson in SimNet. Once in SimNet, click on Take Lesson. And this is going to open up the content of the lesson. And, and what you'll see is it's similar to a sim book if you've used a sim book before. Over at the left, you have navigation of the table of contents. You're able to go through each of the different skills in this lesson. Um, you also have glossary terms or bookmark. Up in the upper right, you have the help topics, you have search, you have accessibility, which allows you to change the font size and line height and, and apply high contrast. Uh, you can print the page if you want, or you can exit out. Uh, the read speaker. Read speaker is available. You could select content to have it read to you, or you could highlight content here. Um, you could read it to you here, or you could use a translator also and translate to different languages. So quite a bit you could do within this lesson here. Um, each page of the lesson has a show me, guide me, let me try. You could read through the page and look at the content here and then go to the show me, guide me, let me try. The show me is a video showing you how to perform this particular skill. The guide me is a simulated environment that tells you exactly what to do. And then the let me try is also a simulated environment, but tells you what to do, but not specifically how to do it. Most of your instructors will just require the let me try. Check with them to see some may require you to do uh, some of these others to get the points, but most are, you just have to do the let me try to get the points. So I'm gonna go in I'm going to click let me try it's going to take me into the simulated environment in this simulated environment it looks and feels uh, a lot like the desktop application uh, you can you can move around you can click on tabs and it's not going to mark you wrong you can open up dialog boxes you can pull down drop down lists all, all of that so uh, so looks and feels a lot like the desktop application up in the upper right, you have a couple things here. You have the de device tips. If you're using a Windows machine, it will display Windows uh, keys that, and some tips to use. Same thing for Mac and Chromebook. You also, you could go back and look at the show me, guide me. If you ever get stuck on the let me try, you could always go back and look at those. The read speaker here is also available. That will read the instructions for you. This area over here tells you in the upper left, tells you how many skills are in this lesson. There's 25. And on this particular skill, there are seven different steps. You could change the font size of the instructions if you want. And you could also see a hint if you want to see a hint on how to do something. I'll go through this and show you what it looks like. So you start with the first one, clicking the January through June worksheet, and it's gonna tell you you got it correct. And then go on to the next one. If I do something incorrect, it will tell me, and it'll tell me what I'm supposed to do here. So I could click continue, and then go and do the correct, what, what it asks for. I'll continue to do each of these seven tasks on this skill. Once I've completed the, all the skills, all the steps on that particular skill, it's going to tell me I've successfully completed this. If I click this arrow here, it's going to take me to the next let me try. If I, uh, if I click continue, it's going to take me to the next skill to the show me. If I click close, it's going to take me back out to the lesson. So I'm going to click next let me try. I can also navigate here as well. And you'll continue uh, applying the reading the instructions and applying it to the uh, to the worksheet here and completing each of the steps and each of the skills and go all the way through it with the lesson. You can do it as many times you want. You should be able to get 100 percent on every lesson that you do because you can keep doing these skills as many times you want. If you need to see a hint, you could do that again. You can always go back to the show me guide me. I'm going to go ahead and exit out here and show you what it looks like when you finish. It takes you back to the lesson. I'll go ahead and exit out of the lesson. And this shows me my progress here. So it shows me I'm 25% complete. I've completed five of the 25 skills. Um, check marks here by the ones I've completed, the ones I haven't have a open box. 
So complete all of the skills in each of the lessons. And that's how to complete a lesson. I hope this helps. <laughs>